What's up, Carl Lovers? You see what I got right here? It's a 2022 Corvette Stingray. Stingray. Mm. Yes. So, you know, I don't know if you guys know how I feel about American cars, but this one, I might give it a try because this one, if you're looking for something close to a European car, close to a super car, that might be it. And you know what? It's not too, too expensive. You know, it starts at $60,000. 60! And you get this? This is so fucking pretty. And you know me, I like crazy looking cars. This is so fucking pretty. So today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna review the outside, review the inside, and then you know what? You know what? And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go drive it, okay? Let's go. Uh, we're at Broadway Supercars. Okay. Um, we're here in Hackensack, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You made a trip out, so I this is trip. it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're getting some of our supercars, you're playing with some of our toys, you're whipping around, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can get some good reviews. We will. Alright. Thank you so much. Sounds good. Alright, so let's start with the hood. Do you see this beauty? This is like super angular, angular, you know, to go with the sign. Also, you see, you see how low this car is? You see this? But do not worry, there is a front lift. So you know, your car is gonna lift, so we're not gonna scratch this. Very important. Full LED headlights. Let's talk about this door. Do you see how the door is? You see this? There's a hole in here that let the air go straight through the engine because you know, since we're gonna go fast, the engine needs to cool off. Do you see how so sportive it is it's very aggressive the tail light they have a three-dimensional element i don't know if you can see but it goes in it goes out it's like fancy look at the diffuser area this shit is like so sexy so fucking aggressive i don't know what they were trying to do they were trying to scare people off with how aggressive this car looked but yo i think they did a good job on the design so we're gonna go drive this bad boy but i want you to hear i want you to hear the noise that it makes when we start the engine So let's talk about the wheel. I don't know if you can see the wheel, the steering wheel. It's kind of like rectangle or square. It's not a normal one. Also, look at the screen. It's a digital screen. Pretty cool. So we have a pretty cool shifter. So if you want to put the car in drive, easy, and you pull it. Now it's in drive. If you want to put in reverse, you know what to do. Regular car, very easy park you already know something that's cool that i think if you're like me and you like to paddle shift a lot because i like to act like i'm driving those they're huge they take like you see how big that is on on both sides obviously very big i like that so look at this this is pretty cool you see that this is behind me so because the car is so small and you know you can't really see it that's what you would see if it was a regular mirror. So what they did, you don't see the inside of the car at all. You just see straight back. So I have something to say about something in the car because it is a little weird to me, but you tell me if you think it's weird. So what is this? What's this? This part is out of control. First of all, it's elevated. That's one. And uh, so it's a lot of buttons. So it might be a little overwhelming, but after you look at it, you kind of get the gist of it so the top part is for the driver the bottom is for the passenger and uh and then you see ac like you know what's up like you're gonna figure it out but my thing is why is it elevated like this so if i'm not driving and i'm in the passenger seat my boo cannot touch me like look at this how am i how is he gonna touch me like this this is not comfortable my boo is not gonna do that because it's hard like why they put this big ass thing in the middle? 
I don't understand but I guess that was the design they tried to go with but yeah I'm not really sold on this also here you have something cool I don't know if you guys can see but it's like you see so you can like switch it and it will switch stuff on the screen you see So you can see a bunch of different shit. All right, so you get it. Also, this screen is very much so angled towards the driver. So pretty much nobody is gonna be able to change your music. That might be good because we all have those friends that wanna decide on the music when it's my car. We're not doing that, sir. Mm -mm. Something cool that I found on here is that they have a PDR, right? So you can go here and you say, okay, and then you can see if you take your car to the track lap time you know uh video overlay you figure it out you know you gotta play with it Ooh, i like that um also you can record let's say you valet your car i hate valeting my car but let's say you valet your car you can start recording so you see the stuff they're doing with your car like you can see everything so hopefully they don't go for a joyride or nothing because you're gonna be in trouble but uh yeah that's pretty cool be aware in some places it's not legal so make sure you know that it's legal in in your state so i don't know if you guys see this roof this is a roof <laughs> and i can see outside it's kind of blue outside but the roof is kind of blue too so you can take it all the way off all the way off and then you can put it in the trunk something i found that was really cool is they have a memory seat for the passenger like you know usually it's only for the driver also there is uh, the glove compartment the button is hidden it's right here so you gotta find it and then you open it ba -bam. it's pretty decent size it's not too small also if you want to get out the car and you're not sure the button is right here right here a little button yes and it opens the car so i wanted to show you the engine so right here is the engine so you can see it Let's open the trunk. There it is. Boom boom. So that's pretty big. Okay, we got we got room. And then boom boom. This is why we're going fast and furious. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's your trunk. So that's pretty cool, right? You can put your little luggage and then you see your engine when you close it watch watch right you close it you don't gotta slam it you just close a little and look soft close yes i love soft close because you know on the 911 it's not soft and people be slamming it and i'll be mad but wait there's a trunk in the front too. All right, there's room. Wow. You see the room? Not bad. Do you think I can fit in it? I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Shoes off, let's not disrespect the car. I can't, I can't get in. Yeah, the booty is not going in. Never mind. Let's come out. Alright, let's go. Let me put my seatbelt. Yes, I'm coming. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, Zemo. Guys, this is not bad. And you know I be talking shit. So the transmission is an 8-speed dual clutch automatic. They don't do a manual no more. Okay. Okay. Yo. I'm not mad. I'm really not mad. Okay. Hey. This is making me rethink. This is $60,000. I mean, starting. $60,000, but it's pretty powerful if you 
you know, like I said, if you don't have the pockets yet, that might be cool. Excuse me! Excuse me. Wow. I'm pretty impressed. And I don't know if I said it, but there is no manual option anymore. I don't know why I love a fucking manual car, but they said no. Not for you. You don't need this. I would have appreciated it. safe actually but we're happy that's what we are fucking happy okay the steering and handling is pretty cool too it's like really fast you don't feel like the car is going nowhere like it's moving okay let's go there is a let's see one guys one last one let's go okay we're done we're done we are done but we are good we, we did enough it pushed all my hair back you know the hairline the hairline is gone my hairline back all the way back guys this car is pretty fun uh, Z mode, Z mode, uh, I love you. Yes, I'm glad they thought about Z mode because it's it's the shit. Thank you, Z mode.